mining tree. You even go toward the witch's cottage and the witch herself. But it's okay, because you'll escape to a happy ending. From the Fantasyland Theater, where Disney cartoons are shown, you can go to the Dumbo Ride. There are ten elephants, and any one of them will fly you around so you can see Fantasyland from a whole new angle. Another ride that lets you see a lot is the Fantasyland Skyway. It's kind of like a bridge in the air that goes to and from Tomorrowland. The galley is not only a real replica of pirate ship, it's a favorite meeting place for Captain Hook and his crew. There are lots of places to explore, both at Skull Rock and the ship. Oh yeah, it's a restaurant too. Our next stop is Storybook Land. You enter a miniature world after passing through the mouth of the monster, the whale. Casey Junior Train is another way to see the storybook settings, like Toad Hall, with its countless chimneys and only one fireplace. This is Pinocchio's village, where Geppetto's wish was answered and a wooden puppet became a real live boy. Cinderella's castle is high above the next town. Isn't it pretty? The train passes in this direction, too, before it travels back toward the station. Alice in Wonderland is like a trip to the looking glass aboard a colorful caterpillar. You get to follow Alice's adventures as you travel from place to place. Then you slide down a path made by huge vines. Just across the way is one of Disneyland's landmarks, the Matterhorn. These bobsleds whisk us up and down and into the mountain. Complete with a snow monster that roams inside the dark ice caves. Our last 
stop is, it's a small world. Inside are more than 300 animatronic dolls just waiting for you. Together they spin the whole world with music and song. I think it's true. Fantasyland really is an enchanted place. Do 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 do